Hey everyone and welcome back. This video has been a long time coming. The topic for today's video, as you all know, is how to paint the stock wheels or rims of certain cars and SUVs. It's a nice visual upgrade to vehicles which Rockstar themselves could have made it easier for us players by integrating it into the game, but for some reason they didn't. And also not to forget the years old mobile app is outdated, totally neglected and abandoned at this point leading to crashes and irritating a lot of players in GTA Online. The first time I made this video, it kind of blew up and helped a lot of players. But after that video was published, we got quite a lot of DLC updates and it's basically broken the app. But do not worry though, there's still a workaround and since I got a lot of comments repeatedly asking how to get it working, I decided to make an updated video showing how to get it to work. Okay, first things first. How this works is that certain vehicles come with paintable stock wheels or rims, however you want to call them. The textures on these particular wheels allows them to be painted. Other vehicles do not come with such paintable textured wheels, either it will be a silver or grey finish on them or they'll just come with chrome wheels. Chrome wheels can't be painted. Sadly, these are the same type of wheels that's on majority of the new cars in this new contract DLC. Only a few are paintable. I've actually made a video showing the full list of all the vehicles that have paintable wheels. It's up to date for the latest DLC so you can easily know which ones are paintable and which ones are not. I'll be linking it at the top, at the end as well as down in the comments. So make sure to check it out. Going about to the first part of the topic that is painting the soft wheels. There's actually two ways to go about with this. First is the very simple method which you'll see on screen right now. I've done both the ways of doing this just to show you all that it still works. The first method is very simple. All you gotta do is head out to Los Santos Customs and before you go inside, make sure to choose the spawn location as last location. This is just to make it easier for you from having to travel all the way again. Head into Los Santos Customs, go to the wheels category. If you already have the custom wheels installed, then you can just follow the steps what I do in the video. Also, if you notice here, for a minute second when you change from stock wheels to custom wheels and back repeatedly, the stock wheels changes color to whichever color you had on the custom wheels. This is a quick test or a sure way to know that the stock wheels are paintable. You'll also know what all parts of the wheel will be painted. Alright now, to proceed with the method, just go ahead with the first wheel in the muzzle category, that is the classic 5 as it's one of the cheapest wheels in the game. Then go to the wheel paints and select the color you want on the stock wheels. I particularly chose red as you all can see clearly. And as soon as you finish putting the paint on, head over to the wheel section, any category is fine and choose the stock wheels. Right after the game processes the wheel, hit the pause menu and go to the story mode. Do not back out of the menus as it will not get the method to work. You need to instantly go to the pause menu and into story mode. Once you load in, hit the pause menu and head back into online. I always choose invite only lobby as it's much faster and very less loading times. Since we chose last location as our spawning point, we spawn right nearby to the Los Santos customs. And as you can see, we now have painted stock wheels. As simple as that. This is the easiest method for getting the stock wheels painted in the game. You can do with just about any colors to match other paint schemes of your car. Also, when you head back into Los Santos Customs, go to the wheel section and cycle through the wheels. You can actually see that when you go back to the stock wheels option, the paint is gone and it will be back to the plain texture. Do not choose it, but just back out and you'll be good to go. If you do want to change the color again, then all you gotta do is just redo the same steps all over again. This will take hardly a minute and you don't need to worry about using an app, wait a long time, or go through the annoying crashes. There we have it again. Stock wheel Spain changed to gold color. Simple as that. Now comes the topic about the iFruit app method and mainly how to get it working without it crashing every single time we start it up. Like I had mentioned in the very beginning, the app is broken since last few DLCs. 
The main cause is that the certain vehicles like the Spectre Custom and few motorcycles will cause the app to crash, so avoid them. Along with those, the two new categories of deals that were added into the game, which is the street category and the track category, are also the main cause for the app crashes. You can test it out yourself with just about any wheels from these two new wheel categories. Use a vehicle equipped with such wheels whilst the app is running and it will crash as it refreshes the list to load the vehicle. In order to stop having these crashes, it's best to just use some of the very old vehicles that's been in the game from the beginning. The OG cars. Stock vehicles, if you have any, would be good too. Also, you gotta make sure they don't have the wheels from the two categories I mentioned earlier. As you can see the Alpha here has an old custom wheel, whereas the Paragon has a wheel from the new category. The same with the Amakuruma as well. So completely avoid taking them out. Just take the other cars out for a small drive. Do it with about 10 to 12 or even 14 cars just to be on the safer side as the app stores a list of recently driven or used vehicles in GT Online. Doing so with that many cars will thoroughly refresh the list and remove any vehicles that's causing the crashing problem. Once done with refreshing the list, get the car you want to appear in the app by taking it out of the garage for a small spin. Once it loads into the app list, you can proceed with the iFruit app method. You can see that when I take out the Komoda with the track wheels installed, the app crashes right away after I select the Los Santos Customs logo. To solve this, just head over to the LSE, change the wheels to any older wheels and this will get the app to work. Also, like I had shown earlier, Komodo's paintable stock wheels color change is noticeable here. Once done with all that, just choose the cheapest wheel and also select the color you want your stock wheels painted in. I want the stock wheels in black, so I'll go with that. Once equipped, exit to outside. Go to your phone app and select the car model. Swipe across if it's not the first car as there's about 10 recently used vehicles in the list. Select the car, go to the wheels category, choose the stock wheels option, cost a mere $3000, then press order and finally accept it. Now head over to the game, just make sure you are on the outside and not inside of any properties or businesses else the message won't deliver. Once you get the message, head into Los Santos Customs and accept to process the app order. And boom, there you have it. Painted stock wheels using the working iFruit app after the contract DLC update. Simple as that. This Komoda from almost 2 years ago works well. Also the Jester RR from previous Los Santos Tunas DLC works perfectly too. As you can see, First is the iFruit app method and next I also show the normal in-game method too. Works flawlessly. If you have any vehicle that you want to try this on, then make sure they don't have the two new category wheels installed on them. Also first, make sure the wheels are paintable. If in case you want to do the trick on a vehicle that already is equipped with the street or track category wheels, then take the car into LSC and put some cheap wheels on them for the time being. After that, close the app and open again for the list to refresh. Now you can see the app will load normally and won't crash. And as said, I showed both the ways working fine on the Jester RR. Although one thing I gotta mention is that the simple in-game method doesn't seem to work on certain consoles. This was informed by a few followers, so if that's the case with any of you, then you'll have to stick to the iFruit app method itself. Alright now, with that out of the way, I'll show you why I personally couldn't use the Ignus or this iFruit app method. It does work for others, I have few that tried it out, but my game is bugged permanently. I'll tell you right away, I really wanted to use it but the damn glitch stopped me from doing so. That's the reason for the long delay in finishing and publishing this video cause you know I was literally trying all possible ways before coming to the conclusion and the final confirmation from Rockstar kind of you know sealed the deal. It is that my game's garages and few cars are kind of glitched. When the Arena Wars came out, the workshop within had the option to give custom names to the Arena Wars DLC vehicles that came in the DLC. This was restricted to just them and you couldn't rename any other vehicles. 
but guess what? This also introduced a new set of glitches or bugs into the game. As you can see in the video, some of my other cars that I stored in there got those names carried over from the Arena Wars vehicles that were either moved to other garages or sold off. Check out the names few of these vehicles have on them. It's not their original names, but the custom ones I had given for the Arena Wars vehicles. And here's to show you all the proof. I don't know how it's linked to the save data, but somehow it is, and that's their only solution in fixing it. To reset my game progress. The entire thing. In order to refresh the list and get the Ignis to show up in the app, I went a step further and bought the LEGs. Like lots of them. I went with this cause 1. They are free and 2. They are stock and also they don't have any custom plates on them. This is also a method to completely refresh your recently driven vehicles list for the app. And also, I went a step even further and also got the Baller STs as well, mixing up with the LEGs. The Baller STs were free during the Christmas, hence I got them in such high numbers. I also did the refresh method by taking them out and driving all of these cars. You know, in total there were about 15 or 18 vehicles in total, all of these LEGs and Baller STs. And to top it all off, I even started a whole new game in story mode so as to refresh the vehicles of the characters in case they had the custom plates. But no matter what, it didn't work. All the vehicles from the previous DLCs show up except the new DLC ones. It even changed accordingly in the app as I used them in game. So this is the reason I couldn't show this method on the newer DLC vehicles. But just know that the method still works and has been confirmed by others that tested it. So go ahead with your customizations and painting stock wheels. And just reminding you that the full list of all the vehicles with paintable wheels are already covered in the video I mentioned earlier. So check it out before you waste time checking each and every car manually yourself. Saves time for you. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. If you all got any other info to share or the topics you want me to cover on, then let us know down in the comments. I go through all the comments. Do drop the video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to stay tuned. Thank you all and have a good day.